Hello, I am Vina Dharasri. Today we are reading Positive Health, written by Subradatta about the text. Positive health has been taken from the Complete Health Encyclopedia, written by Subradatta, a notable physician. She argues that positive health is a matter of discipline, daily routine, including good eating habits and tension-free minds. People in developed countries have achieved better physical health, but their mental health is poor. She believes that homemade remedies are very effective to treat many diseases. So, too much dependence on doctors is undesirable. Positive health in children sometimes depends on the attitude of their parents. If the parents put too much pressure on their children to achieve instant success, they become distressed and begin to take drugs. Health is a positive state of physical and mental well-being. When we feel secure by being physically healthy and free from disease, by feeling content and by living a comfortable and clean environment, we are in a state of positive health. Our close and harmonious interactions with family members, neighbors and friends help us to stay well mentally. According to this definition, very few people in the world enjoy positive health. In the rich and developed countries, family ties appear to be weakening, neighbors may be strangers, and friendship is sometimes restricted to business contacts. In those countries, environmental conditions have improved considerably. The populations have achieved a better nutritional status and there is often plenty of money available to buy most of life's comforts. People in developed countries may enjoy better physical health, but they are far from achieving positive health, as many are not so contented mentally. On the other hand, in the developing countries, the quality of human interactions within families, neighbors, and friends are often more positive. However, both the environmental and nutritional status of these populations are lower. So the people suffer more from poor physical health. When a person's physical health is poor, the state of positive health cannot exist. So we find that positive health is eluding many of us. However, it is not impossible for people in developing countries to achieve positive health. To help achieve this state, we need an understanding of how our bodies function so that we can keep healthy. We also need a clean environment and healthy food that does not cost too much. too much money. We need proper education for all people that leads to understanding the relationship between health and a positive approach to life. We should remember that a contented mind and healthy living can help to keep us free from many diseases. In some ways, it is easier for the people in developing nations to achieve positive health because they have more close-knit social system with better communications between people and do many people in wealthy and developed nations with very little by way of resources or sophisticated medical facilities. We can achieve positive health 
for the majority of individuals in our communities. This does not mean that we do not need medical care. We definitely need proper medical care under certain circumstances. We need proper vaccination and immunization against infectious diseases. Proper treatment of diseases by medical surgical intervention when required. Proper maternal care before and after childbirth and regular medical checks after the age of 40 years. However, there is no need to be obsessed about our health and we should use our own instincts and knowledge to decide when medical intervention is really necessary. While most people in the developed countries enjoy better health, the doctors of those countries attribute this better physical health largely to the improved medical facilities. They tend to ignore other important social factors such as the higher standards of education, wealth, nutrition and cleaner environments enjoyed by most of these populations. It may be helpful to realize that although people in the wealthy and developed nations have mostly achieved better physical health than people in the developing world, many of them are suffering from a decline in basic human values. This is frequently reflected in complex problems such as drug dependence, psychological and mental illness, and stress-related diseases. Family ties are breaking down and close, happy human interactions are becoming less common. To cope with these difficult situations, people often turn to a psychoanalyst or psychiatrist for professional help. Our aged aunts and wise friends used to solve similar problems by listening and showing understanding and compassion as they believed it was most important to relieve the distressed person's mind. Unfortunately, people from many developing countries are trying to achieve the same level of physical health as that enjoyed by developed nations by providing medical facilities to cope with even minor health problems. Other important factors associated with better physical health are being ignored. Often the result is that many families are spending more money on doctors and medicines then to then on healthy food and other essentials to improve their physical environments for the developing world this is a tremendous waste of limited resources achieving positive health instead of wasting valuable resources on the provision of more medical facilities it might be better to use our knowledge and basic common sense in an effort to maintain healthy bodies and minds. For example, learning the value of good nutrition for health and teaching this to the children. And we should use our indigenous simple home remedies to solve simple health problems instead of relying simply on modern drugs which are often very expensive. And remember, most drugs have side effects which can be more dangerous than the disease itself. In nature, animals are not influenced by media campaigns and they trust their own instincts. Nature has given each animal the power to monitor its own body and maintain normal health. As an example, salt is an essential element required by all animals. Wild animals in the forest like rhinoceros, elephant, deer try to find a place where salt is present in the soil. They regularly leak the soil to get the exact amount of salt. 
their body is need they eat only the required amount of food and never suffer from obesity as we humans often do they monitor their body needs by instinct and eat no more than is required all carnivorous animals eat grass whenever they have diarrhea or other stomach problems due to indigestion and they normally manage to maintain good physical health eating behavior we human beings seem to have lost the ability to monitor our own bodies in order to maintain health we refuse to understand our own body signals and tend instead to follow the advice of doctors or the media sometimes over jealous parents force infants and small children to eat because it is feeding time not because they are hungry or children may be fed more than their bodies demand or need because some book dictates how much food a baby requires as a result children may grow up ignoring important body signals until finally these signals become weak and fail to stimulate normally people then either eat far too much or too little as in the case of some young figure conscious girls and fail to precise amounts of food required by the body however if we change our attitudes and learn to trust our own body signals from the beginning we can have proper nour- proper nourishment in the correct amounts and thus enjoy good health expectations and responsibilities by instinct most parents love and care for their children yet very often their expectations and ambitions put too much pressure on the children when children cannot reach the level of their parents ambition they can suffer from stress frustration and stress this may lead to drug experimentation and other related behaviors as a way of avoiding the realities of the situation from the beginning children should be allowed to develop in their own natural happy way within the control of parental love guidance and care and without too much pressure a change of some conventional parental attitudes may help to prevent many cases of drug dependence and other problems adolescent problems we should also understand our parental responsibilities to the world environment remember that the living space of this world is limited and we must have enough space for our future generations to live happily to achieve that aim we must practice family planning and limit the birth rate by having only one or two children per couple between each birth there should be a gap of 3 or 4 years so that each child is not deprived of the right of sufficient parental love and care family planning really means family welfare as it helps to keep women healthy enough to contribute to a happy home environment a happy healthy mother is a key to the welfare of the whole family the mind is most important in the maintenance of positive health to develop a healthy mind it is important to learn relax proper and to develop ways to deal with day to day stress many diseases such as high blood pressure and some heart problems are thought to be related to stress so by using relaxation techniques you may avoid many health problems however even when we enjoy good health diseases may occur according to international statistics each person is at risk of becoming sick or injured about twice a year or on average it is important to deal with any sickness or injury in a realistic and intelligent way without panic 
नॉलेज ऑफ द बॉडी शुड हेल्प यू टू मैनेज एन इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन बिफोर कॉन्टेक्टिंग ए डॉक्टर फॉर प्रॉपर मेडिकल मैनेजमेंट वेन नेसेसरी एनी मेडिकेशंस और ड्रग्स सच एज एंटीबायोटिक्स और स्ट्रॉन्ग पेन किलर्स नीड टू बी मॉनिटर्ड बाई ए डॉक्टर और अदर क्वालिफाइड पर्सन इन द हेल्थ प्रोफेशन पॉजिटिव हेल्थ में सुब्रा दत्ता ने क्या बताया सारांश देख लेते हैं थोड़ा सा पॉजिटिव हेल्थ का मतलब है कि कंप्लीट ये जो उनकी किताब है डॉक्टर फिजिशियन है ये वेल नोन है कंप्लीट हेल्थ इंसाइक्लोपीडिया से ये चैप्टर लिया गया है अपने और वो जो तर्क देती है कि पॉजिटिव हेल्थ प्राप्त करने के लिए डिसिप्लिन डेली रूटीन होना चाहिए नियमित दिनचर्या होनी चाहिए और इसमें अच्छी खाने की आदतें हैं शामिल है और टेंशन फ्री माइंड होना बहुत जरूरी है पीपल जो है डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज जो विकसित देश हैं वो भी बेटर फिजिकल हेल्थ उनका प्राप्त कर सकते हैं और देयर मेंटल हेल्थ इज पुअर लेकिन जो विकसित देश हैं उनका मानसिक स्वास्थ्य कमजोर है तो लेखिका बिलीव करती है कि होम मेड रेमेडीज आर वेरी इफेक्टिव टू ट्रीट मैनी डिजीजे घर से बनी हुई जो देसी दवाइयाँ होती है चिकित्सा होती है वो ज़्यादा इफेक्टिव होती है और टू मच डिपेंडेंस ऑन डॉक्टर इज अनडिजायरेबल डॉक्टरों पर ज़्यादा निर्भर करना इसकी कोई आवश्यकता नहीं है पॉजिटिव हेल्थ इन चिल्ड्रन समटाइम्स डिपेंड्स ऑन द एटीट्यूड ऑफ देयर पेरेंट्स सकारात्मक स्वास्थ्य यानी कि अच्छा स्वास्थ्य जो है कभी कभी पेरेंट्स के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि अगर पेरेंट्स बहुत ज़्यादा प्रेशर यानी दबाव डालते हैं तनाव देते हैं तो बच्चे क्या करते हैं उस लेवल पर अगर प्राप्त नहीं हो पाते हैं तो तनाव के मारे वो ड्रग्स लेना शुरू कर देते हैं नशा दवाइयाँ ज़्यादा करना लेते हैं हेल्थ इज ए पॉजिटिव स्टेट ऑफ एक डेफिनेशन है हेल्थ इज ए पॉजिटिव स्टेट ऑफ फिजिकल एंड मेंटल वेलबींग शारीरिक और मानसिक रूप से अच्छे होने को हम कहते हैं स्वास्थ्य वेन वी फील सिक्योर बाई बींग फिजिकली हेल्दी एंड फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज अगर हम बीमारियों से मुक्त हैं और शारीरिक रूप से स्वस्थ हैं और मानसिक रूप से संतुष्ट हैं और आरामदायक कंडीशन में हैं स्वच्छ वातावरण में रहते हैं तो हम कह सकते हैं कि हम अच्छे स्वास्थ्य में हैं पॉजिटिव हेल्थ है हमारा आवर क्लोज एंड हारमोनियस इंटरेक्शंस विद फैमिली मेंबर्स हमारा परिवार के संबंधियों से अच्छा व्यवहार पड़ोसियों से अच्छा व्यवहार मित्रों से अच्छा व्यवहार ये सब हमारे मानसिक स्वास्थ्य को अच्छा रखने में मदद करते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस डेफिनेशन वेरी फ्यू पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड इंजॉय पॉजिटिव हेल्थ इन दी रिच एंड डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज जो अमीर और समृद्ध देश हैं जो विकसित हो चुके हैं उनमें भी पारिवारिक जो बंधन है टाइज है वो बहुत कमजोर है वो पड़ोसियों से भी उनसे हो सकता है कि स्ट्रेंजर जानते तक नहीं है और फ्रेंडशिप भी उनकी प्रतिबंधित है सीमित है केवल बिजनेस जिनसे अपने काम होता है उन्हीं तक सीमित है तो ऐसी कंडीशन में ऐसे देशों में शारीरिक स्वास्थ्य तो उनका अच्छा हो सकता है लेकिन मानसिक स्वास्थ्य की दृष्टि से वो कमजोर हैं पीपल इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज में इंजॉय बेटर फिजिकल हेल्थ उनका शारीरिक स्वास्थ्य अच्छा हो सकता है बट दे आर फार फ्रॉम अचीविंग पॉजिटिव हेल्थ लेकिन फिर भी उनका स्वास्थ्य अच्छा नहीं है वो अभी भी उससे लक्ष्य से दूर हैं एज क्योंकि मैनी आर नॉट सो कंटेंटेड मेंटली क्योंकि वो मानसिक रूप से संतुष्ट नहीं है ऑन द अदर हैंड इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज और दूसरी तरफ जैसे भारत जैसे विकासशील देशों में क्वालिटी ऑफ वुमन इंट्रेक्शन विद इन फैमिली नेबर मतलब अच्छी गुणवत्ता है पारिवारिक संबंध अच्छे हैं मित्रों से परिप्रोष